What's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to first expand your canvas size inside of Photoshop and then expand your image with the help of generative AI. So let's jump right in. So I have this photo here. It's a still frame I used as a thumbnail from my latest Filmmaking Friday episode about camera sensors. You should clean your sensor. If you want to know how to do that, click up here. And I also wanted that image as a square format for Instagram. But as you can see, if I want to make it into a square format, it doesn't work because it's just simply way too small for that. The entire camera doesn't fit on the screen. So let's go back and open up Photoshop by going to photo, edit in, and then click on Adobe Photoshop. Now, once we're in Photoshop, let's unlock this layer, go up here to image, canvas size, click on it. And there we can see the dimensions and pixels of our image. So let's take the bigger amount of pixels. So in this case, 3,362, which is of course how wide the image is. So right up here, select it, copy it, and then paste it into the height. So the height is the same amount of pixels, which of course makes it a square format. Hit okay. And then we can see up here and down here, we have an expanded canvas size. But of course, right now it's still empty. So let's go to the lasso tool and then select the image just like this. Oops, it's a bit hard with the trackpad and not the mouse to keep it somewhat stable, but there we go. Now we only selected the image right here and not the empty parts, which is why we go to select inverse. And now we have inversed our selection. So everything besides the image is selected. And now we go down here and hit generate a fill and just type in expand the image, hit the enter key, let it generate for a second. And once it's done, we can see the image is expanded. We have more headspace right here and we have an extended desk right here where the camera is standing on. That's it. That's how you first expand your canvas size and then use Photoshop's generative AI to fill out and expand the image. I hope I could help you with this video and you learned something new. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing right here for more videos just like this one. You can find more Photoshop tutorials right here and the last Photoshop tutorial right here. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.